Hey guys, my name is Austin. Today we're going to do a review on the Pointer Phenoma 20 gauge shotgun. Uh, we purchased this yesterday at Cal Ranch for about 350 bucks, um, which I think is a super good deal for a semi automatic 20 gauge shotgun. Um, once you get it out of the box, that's what it's going to look like. It comes in a hard case, which is awesome. I've never seen a shotgun that comes in a hard case, so I was really impressed by that. And open it up and it's kind of a form-fitting case I'll turn it around for you and one thing that I was really impressed by with this gun and the biggest reason I bought it is right there um, it says legacy sports so it's imported by legacy sports which is actually the same company that imports Hawa rifles and Hawa if you've never shot one you need to because my opinion they're the best rifles on the market right now um, this gun comes with a glow sight on the end of it and you'll see on this side it's made in turkey if it'll focus there you go it's made in turkey and as I showed you earlier this side it shoots two and three quarter and three inch shells um, it's got a 28 inch barrel and this is actually going to be my wife's gun um, so it's actually really light, which is one thing we liked about it. It's light, um, easy to move around, and it's pointer. But overall, at first glance, we really like it. We're really impressed by it and really excited to shoot it. If you've ever shot a Hawa rifle, they have kind of a rubber texture on the stock, and this comes the exact same way. It's kind of got a rubber filling texture on the stock. Um, it's got your basics I and mean, you got the safety back here and everything about basic is a semi-automatic it's gas operated and this so it came with four chokes plus it has one in the gun already it's got a modified in it already and this is the manual it came with and we'll just show you so those are the chokes it came with Came with a full improved modified and modified improved cylinder and a skeet choke as well. Um, I think that's awesome too that it came with five chokes. So we're really excited to shoot it. We're going to take it out today and we'll see how it goes and we'll take you with us and show you how she shoots. But we're really impressed. First look, especially for the price. And the biggest reason I think they're cheap right now is I just don't think very many people know about them. So, yeah, we'll take it out and we'll see how it shoots. So, yeah, if this works, we'll just drop a shell in there and hit the button. Went right in, no problem. Um, we'll put a couple in the magazine and then see if Ashley can hit anything. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. There it is, ready to go. Beautiful. Trade me, you're shooting. Go. I suck. Shot two just fine, but caught that one. All right, well second shot, caught the shell. Didn't eject it all the way. Two. Got them both. Whoa! Did I get it? Yeah. Hey guys, just an update on the pointer shotgun. We took it out shooting that one time that you guys saw from the video, and we had a lot of problems with it ejecting the shell. It seemed like about every three shots it have a problem ejecting the shell. Uh, but we recently took it out again, and this time we had a lot better turnout with the shotgun. 
the last box of shells that we shot through it shot 100% perfect no ejection problems and let me show you what we did to help that out so right here on the shotgun I kind of got it broken down you got this little piece and we coated this ring right around here in gun grease uh, we wanted to create a really good seal because this is a gas operated semi-automatic shotgun and your gases actually come through the barrel right here and that's what forces it back and actually ejects your shell and jacks a new one in. So I just bought some of this gun grease from Walmart. Um, you can get multiple different brands online. But yeah, like I said, just coat it around that and it did a lot better. It shot perfectly last time we went out and it was a lot of fun. Um, so overall this shotgun is a lot of fun and it's highly recommended by me especially for a woman or a new shooter a young kid um, the shotgun is super light uh, it weighs about probably half of what my 12 gauge weighs and that's one of the biggest reasons why we bought it it's perfect for a woman super light easy to throw around easy to shoot and so it's highly recommended by me uh, I would give it a four out of five stars just because of the ejecting problem which really isn't a problem if you grease that thing first. If you grease that first, oil your gun really well before you shoot it, take it out, I don't think you'll have any problems. Um, but I do recommend two things, and one would be to shoot probably a couple boxes of shells through it before you take it hunting, just so you don't have any problems with it ejecting, you make sure everything's working right. Uh, just become familiar with your gun before you actually take it hunting. And two, I would say to make sure it's well greased and well oiled and you shouldn't have any problems with this gun. Uh, it's highly recommended by me, especially for the price. Overall value is awesome and I think you'll really enjoy it. And so, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. We do a lot of hunting shows, a lot of reviews on different hunting equipment. Uh, we love hunting, the outdoors, hiking shed hunting, anything with the outdoors, we love it. And we try to do it as often as we can. And we try to video as often as we can too. So just please subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps us out. And we hope to see you in the future. And thanks for watching. Bye.